Hi guys, Tech Geek for Life here, and today I've got a video on the top three custom ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9-100. This is a sort of follow-up to my last video on the top three custom ROMs for the Galaxy Ace, just for the S2 this time. So let's get started. The first ROM I've got for you today is Cyan Engine Mod 10. Uh, some pe some of you may be used to Cyan Engine Mod, and it's basically stock Android for any phone and Sun Engine Mod 10.1 which is what I've got here is based on the latest 4.2.2 ROM from Google and the Sun Engine Mod version is 10.1 the nightly basically means that it's in its development stages so there may be a few minor bugs however it's a fairly stable ROM and as you can see, Android version 4.2.2. It's basically exactly the same as any stock ROM, any stock Google ROM you would be used to on a Nexus device. You get the same screen lock animation, same, see there, bug. Lock screen widgets. Basically everything the same as the stock Android experience. The second one we've got for you today is Paranoid Android. Paranoid Android is based on stock, just like CyanGen Mod, except CyanGen Mod is pure stock. But Paranoid Android, at first glance, seems exactly the same. However, one minor change, this is only 4.1.1, I think, yeah. This is only 4.1.1, as opposed to 4.2.2, which Sounds in Mod is running. Paranoid Android is basically stock, however, with a few added apps. And the main thing in Paranoid Android is the option to have your phone in phone mode, phablet mode or tablet mode. Now this basically means that you can have your phone, this at the moment is the tablet settings menu as you're probably used to if you have an Android tablet. It's It basically just gives you the option of having your phone um, apps and all your menus running in tablet mode or phone mode, phone mode being as this is right now with the standard menu, standard notification bar and that's about it um, it's also got the, the option of these four toggles up here Again, there we go, 4.1.1. Um, it's not really much to say, really. This is one of my favourite ROMs available, purely because of the fact you can have phone or tablet mode, and I like the tablet mode on Android. And we'll just put it into tablet mode. There, you get the options of changing the way your apps are set out. Just change the DPI or whatever. And then your workspace. You get phablet mode, tablet mode, the normal phone mode, or hybrid, which is what is actually on here at the moment. The hybrid being you get your phone, app drawer, and home screen. And you get the tablet settings menu. Workspace and put it into tablet mode. And yes, you have to reboot your phone. I'm just wait for that to reboot. And again, this is probably one of the best ROMs you can get for the S2. Uh, so Energy Mod is another one your well, another one of the best ones you can get. However, I just like the fact you can have tablet mode or phone mode on Paranoid Android. 
It's also available for the Nexus devices and there's a few other phones. And I'll, I'll leave links to all of the threads for these ROMs and the download links in the description. And here we go, tablet mode. Notification bar at the bottom, not at the top, as on phone mode. Everything else is the same, like on a stock Android tablet. And we can go back into settings. And we'll put it into tablet mode. And to flash any of these ROMs, all you, need, all you need is to be rooted and you install it as you would any other custom ROM. So, root your phone, boot into recovery, do a factory reset, make sure you've backed up everything before though, do a factory reset, install zip from SD card, choose the zip and it will install. And then do another factory reset, wipe the cache and wipe the Dalvik cache using a uh, clockwork mod recovery. And this is fabric mode. This is basically what you get on the Nexus 7. Where the notification box is only there. And everything else being tablet mode. Oh, and of course, the lock screen being stock. The third and final ROM which I've got for you today is Omega ROM. Omega ROM is available for the S3, the S2, the S4, the Note 10.1 and I think the Note 2 as well. It's based on the stock ROM, the latest stock ROM, however with the with the, uh, the addition of a few other features. As you can see, the ripple lock screen from the S3. One other change you'll see is the notification bar. They've changed it to black as opposed to the weird colour that Samsung used on the default ROM. However, uh, also you can see these toggles are changed. However, you can change it back to the stock notification bar if you go into Omega settings. And the yeah, Omega settings, you can download a zip package to flash to change that back. Also, everything else is the same with the addition of, I think there's the 4.2.2, yeah, the there's the 4.2.2 camera which allows you to take photosphere photos which, you, which you've probably seen on Nexus devices where basically instead of a panorama you can take pictures which are basically what it says a sphere um, this also includes multi-window and there's an option from Cyanogen mod which allows you to change uh, tracks in a song by using the volume buttons so when your screen's locked and you're listening to music from your headphones press and hold volume down that will go previous track press and hold volume up next track and there's also an option for when you press and hold the home button you can use the flashlight as a torch so instead of unlocking the phone tapping on, tapping on a widget or whatever you just press and hold the home button and it will activate the torch but as I said before, everything else is basically the same, and this is based on the 4.1.2 ROM. Yep, the 4.1.2 ROM. And that's about it really. It gives you a few extra apps and whatever, like it gives you ES File Explorer, that's a much better file explorer than the stock Samsung one and it's available on any Android device. It also gives you the option of uh, transferring files over your network as opposed to using your USB cable all the time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Omega ROM, this is my favourite out of the three and I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And the only difference um, about this one, when you flash it, it will give you a Roma installer, which gives you the option of installing just the basic ROM, so it gets rid of all, all the Samsung bloatware, and doesn't install any of the extra features that I've talked about. There's the custom installation, which lets you choose which features you want to install, which ones you don't, 
and there's the full installation which I installed which gives you everything and that's about it really um, thank you for watching and I've hit 99 subscribers and as soon as I get to 100 I will do a 100 subscriber video special and leave any comments which you would like me to feature or talk about or whatever in the 100 subscriber special and you may even get a shout out on screen that will be a good video and keep tuned and make sure you watch that when I get to 100 but anyway uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe this video. Subscribe, and thank you for watching.